Hello! In this video, I will be solving yet another problem involving the floor function. And for this one, we will be solving for the sum of the floor function of the cube roots of the first 2020 positive integers. If you haven't watched it, I highly suggest that you watch first my video on the introduction to the floor function. I'm leaving the link in the description below. Okay, uh, for this problem, our goal is to simplify the sum. Clearly, each of these are integers. This is an integer, this is an integer, and so on. The cube root of 1 is, of course, 1. So the floor of that is just 1. The cube root of 2 is something greater than 1, but less than 2. It's 1 point something. So the floor of that is 1. The cube root of 3 is 1 point something as well. So the floor of that is 1. Cube root of 4 is also uh, greater than 1. So this is 1. Blah, blah, blah. The question now is, until when do we get the number 1 as the floor? So if you list the number, if you list the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. This one is 2. Why? Because the cube root of 8 is 2. Anything uh, higher than 8 should have a floor of at least 2. The floor of the cube root of 9 is also 2. For 10, it's also 2. Yes? So the question then now is, hanggang kailan naman yung 2? You continue that until 26. When you reach 27, you get 3. And then from 27, magiging 3 yung value niya until 63. Kasi 64, the cube root of that is 4. So the floor is 4 already. Yes? So the value of the floor of uh, sorry, the floor of the cube root of x is equal to 1 if x is between 1 to 7, 2 if x between 8 to 26, 3 if between 26 and 63, and so on and so forth. So, the pattern? The pattern is, this one is always cube. This one is always a cube minus 1. Okay. So if the, if this one is our n, n, the number of times that we are adding n is n times this is n cube and this is n plus 1 cube. Gets? So what about what? Uh... Where are we? Uh, if n is 1, so 1, so this one is 2 cube minus 1 cube, so this is 8 minus 1, 7, which is 7 sila. 1 to 7 are, there are 7 of them. If n is 2, 2 times 2 cube, oh sorry, 3 cube minus 1, minus 2 cube, so that's 27 minus 8, that's 19, so 2 times 19. There are 19. 19 ba to? 8 to 26. 26 minus 8 is 18 plus 1, so 19. So mayroong 19 in between them. Gets? So yung gusto natin makompute na sum is we want the sum of 1 times 2 cube minus 1 cube plus 2 times 3 cube minus 2 cube plus and so on. So, yung, yung problema dito is, yung 2020 is not a perfect cube. So, yung floor niya is same with some other uh, before it. So, para madali, hanapin natin yung number na before 2020 na maganda yung sagot. I mean, integer siya because it's a perfect cube. And that number is 12 cube, which is 1728. Bakit 12 cube? Kasi yung 13 cube is equal to 2197, which is greater than 2020. So, uh, hindi na siya pasok dito sa 2020 na to. So, the last one is up to 12 cube. So, up to up to 1727, the value is, the value must be 11. So, 11 times 12 cube minus 11 cube. Gets? Gets? Next. Then, the value is 12 for starting 1728 hanggang 2020 
how many integers are there between 2020 and 720, 1728 inclusive? So that's 2020 minus 1728, 292. So that's 292 plus 1. So there are 293 positive integers between 1728 and 2020 inclusive. So, yun na, yun na lang natitira natin gawin for now is to evaluate this sum. Before evaluating this sum, kasi it's quite too many, we have to simplify it first. Maybe we'll find something from it. So, it distribute that into 1. So, that's 2 cubed minus 1 times 1 cubed. And then, this is 2 times 3 cubed minus 2 times 2 cubed plus and so on until 11 times 12 cubed minus 11 times 11 cube okay if you notice there is a 10 cube here a, a 2 cube here 2 cube there's a 2 cube here 1 times 2 cube minus 2 times 2 cube that's negative 1 times 2 cube meron ka negative 1 cube dito so that's it so yan if we extend this you'll notice pa that there is 3 times 3 cube minus 4 I'm sorry, 3 times 4 cubed minus 4 times 3 cubed. Tapos ito, itong, oh sorry, this is 3. So 2 times 3 cubed minus 3 times 3 cubed, you can simplify that and magiging negative 3 times, uh, negative 1 times 3 cubed yan. You can continue that pattern until 11 times 11 cubed. So that's, uh, 11 my, uh, my, that's that's 11 cube and then ito wala na siyang kapartner wala na magkakancel sa kanya so that's 11 times 12 cube this is 12 times 293 so this one is just a sum of cubes this will be negative of the sum of 1 cube plus 2 cube until 11 cube and then this is 11 times 12 cube plus 12 times 293 Okay, so itong sum na to can be calculated using the formula the sum of n cubed from n is equal to 1 to n is n times n plus 1 over 2 squared. So you start with 1, you end with 11, therefore your n is 11, so this is 11 times 11 plus 1, that's 12, 2 squared, cancel natin yung 2, 6. 11 times 6, this is 66 squared. So this one is negative 66 squared. Plus 11 times 12 cubed plus 12 times 293 is equal to, I leave that up to you, kasi medyo mahirap siyang, uh, hindi na mahirap, pero uh, it consumes space and wala na akong space. So I'll just uh, do it outside this screen and the answer is 18168. Please verify it on your own. But that's answer. Gets? So whenever you encounter the sum or uh, evaluating a sum of floors of things like this, what you should ask yourself, when is the value uh, an integer? Or, or for what integers uh, are we summing? Pareto, we're summing integers up to uh, up to 7 and the value is 1 up to from 8 to 26 the value is 2 and so on and so forth gets okay so that's it for this video and thank you for watching and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and like this video share when you when you like and thank you bye bye